in the Algarve. Hola, bon dia. Tudo bem? Hola, bon dia. Uh, Senor Joao, uh, so good to see you. Thank you very much uh, for being with us this morning and congratulations to you. Well, thank you very much. First of all, I thank you for the opportunity of being here, sharing this moment with you. And of course, of everybody and everybody else that is watching the stream directly or even later on, it will be a big pleasure. Yeah, I just hope this is a very good added value for your service here that is very positive. I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will be. It's it's always good for us, I think, to find out a little bit more about Portuguese politics because that gives us an insight into Portuguese psyche, psychology and culture. Um, in this very special year, of course, as well, with the 50th anniversary of the Carnation Revolution, what an amazing time for AD to come to power in this particular year. And it is a new, um, I would say, a new force or a new collection of, of, of political uh, people um, in this particular form of AD. And that's my first question for you. And let me bring Paolo onto the screen as well. Let's give him a round of applause. Paolo also joining us. Hola, bom dia to you. Paolo, good to see you. Good morning. Ciao, good morning to you. And as you may have heard me ask uh, as well here, uh, Paolo, AD, um, to me, it was new in this election. Could you explain, uh, please, Joao, how the AD came together um, for this particular election and why? Uh, first of all, uh, I want to make it clear that there is AD that is a very old uh, name used by a coalition of parties here in Portugal. Okay. okay? That is called Alianza Democrática. That is a political coalition that existed previously, and today they renewed this name in this new coalition. Okay. It's combined by three political parties in Portugal, PSD, Social Democrats, uh, Central Christian uh, Service of Party, it's called CDS, and uh, Monarchic Party. This is, AD is the ones that are now just forming government, okay? I belong to a, a political party that is also has a new name since we have the last president called Bruno Fialho, the ADN party. That is the Portuguese name that stands for DNA. And it's, it means, yeah, and it means alternativa Democratica Nacional. Okay. It means an alternative democracy solution for Portugal. Uh -huh. Okay, so some people used before the, I mean, uh, right after the elections, that probably the name ADN and the name AD, yes, yeah, this combined coalition was mixed up by the Portuguese electors. Well, that is a surprise for us. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because we've been having, well, this year is going to be 50 years from the, the, the so-called revolution. Uh, and we've been having always these two political major parties, PS and PSD. Mm. Only one letter spreads them. Yes. And nobody, never mistaken. Yeah. So why this big first nowadays saying that <laughs> ADN didn't get these hundred and hundred thousand and something votes because people were mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a uh, this is a social joke today. <laughs> yeah, right. But anyway, anyway, uh, ADN, uh, it's uh, I would say it's the new political party. We couldn't we just for a little bit we can we were not able to elect somebody to the parliament. Okay. Yeah, uh, it was very close, but uh, we say now uh, we are playing in the first league of political parties in Portugal. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Mm. This is our position now, and of course, it is always a pleasure to be sharing our ideas uh, and, of course, listen to suggestions because this is what we do. We don't have any. I would say 
professionals as politicians in our party, but we have working people, very good professional people that want to give themselves to society to build a better society for everybody that chooses to live in Portugal. Wow. Well, what a lovely way to reframe and, you know, the back to basics of politics. That's how it should be, right? That, like public service to, to society to make a better society. And sometimes we forget this, don't we? In other parts of the world, it seems they've completely forgotten about that, that work ethic and that political ethic. So thank you uh, for restating that. Um, so can I just be clear with you, 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 are you an AD representative or are you from another party and now an AD representative? Is that how it works? No, we are AD and political party. We don't belong to any coalition. Oh, okay. right. We are a single political party. Right. The one that just rose to the first league of political parties in Portugal. Okay, all right, very interesting. Um, it and, was, uh, oh, sorry, carry on. Sorry, no, sorry. It was, uh, there was a lot of talking about ADN political party because the, la the previous elections for parliament, we had nearly 10,000 votes, okay? Yes. And now, these last ones, we reached, we overcome the 100,000 votes. That's why everybody was fuzzing about and talking about ADN. Yes, sorry, I, made, so, I, I fell into the mistake you were talking about, but that's because I'm a foreigner, I think, and I'm sure Portuguese people understand this a lot better than no, I do. No, we understand. <clears throat> we understand that, uh, excuse, of course, somebody that is not used to talk about uh, yes. work in politics in Portugal, it's very common to make these mistakes, even between the two major political parties, yes. PSD and PS, yes. because they only have the difference from one letter. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's much acceptable. But oh. thank, <laughs> thank you for giving me the opportunity of clarify that. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you're here to do that. And I think it helps. Um, I, I'm known for asking the silly questions here. If anyone else has got one, um, I, I'm ha very happy to ask it for you. But if there's anything our viewers, our audience, our Gumpus here want to know about Portuguese politics, um, th these are some great gentlemen on the screen who can answer that question for you. Now, Paolo, I think you're on record as saying what changes things in, in Portugal is getting involved in politics, and that's exactly what you're doing. Which, which, how are you going to be doing that, and which party are you aligning yourself with? No, I, I, I like uh, Alternativa Democrática Nacional uh -huh. uh, because, uh, for me, uh, is the right uh, home for all foreigners and all expats because it's a humanist party that preach legality, ending corruption, economic freedom, and lower taxes. Great. So, <laughs> that sounds good uh, to me. No, yes. So uh, I think uh, the, all, uh, all foreigners uh, agree. The, all foreigners who I, I work, who I, I, I am, who I, I know, uh, agree the, the, these, uh, these ideologics, uh, these programmatic uh, lines uh, so I think uh, the Alternativa Democratica Nacional is the, the best choice for all uh, foreigners uh, who live in, uh, in Portugal. Uh, and by, because, uh, because we, uh, as uh, foreigners, as uh, expats, uh, we, we uh, have, um, uh, we, we want legality immigration because, uh, because, the, 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 because Portugal uh, become unsafe uh, year by year. Uh, is uh, the situation become worse uh, in Albufeira when I live uh, particularly? Uh, so uh, we need uh, we need to fix that, uh, and I think uh, Alternativa Democratica Nacional is a right choice for us for this uh, previous uh, reason. Uh, so uh, I, I think uh, I think I, one day I told to you in the last month that the politic is the the most uh, fasted and um, um, uh, efficient uh, way to to resolve problem uh, in yes. Portugal to the people mm -hmm. uh, because many people uh, uh, found uh, um, make a foundation and then to help people and then uh, go to the major to ask support or oh, I don't know I think uh, the, the the best way to help people is in, inside the, the politics. 
yes. inside the palace. <laughs> Not, well, to kiss, not to kiss the hand of the of the of the of the, king, uh, the, the hand of the of the king, but, but inside become the, the king. Palace. Become the king instead. Yes, which which is which is what I, I think is your strategy. Good morning to you, Joao de Norte. Bon dia, Portugal. Returning finally this evening. Very happy to come back home to Portugal. And Erica Kay, pleased to see you. Nice to see the future mayor of Albufeira here this morning. That's that's you there, Paulo. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. <laughs> Yes, Paolo Fulassi, we Italians absolutely know the illegal situation in Italy yes, as well. Yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. Very, very interesting. Um, Joao, can I come back to you then? So with ADN, um, it, I think foreigners, immigrants, uh, were quite, um, I guess, scared of, of Shager's, the rise in Shager's popularity, uh, fearing the worst. I spoke to a Shager representative on the show here to find out exactly what their view is on on you know migration because they have been uh, obviously in the media uh, with some very um, scary messages, m messaging about you know migrants and foreigners and so on. What is ADN's position for us foreigners? How how, how do you see migration? How do you see us lot of foreigners uh, coming to your wonderful country? Hello again. Thank you again for the opportunity. <laughs> Listen, uh, the Portuguese, we used to say that the Portuguese is the last people on earth that can make any complaints about migrations, okay? Because well, if, you go, if you go to the North Pole, you'll find the Portuguese there by the Eskimos. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to Australia, you'll find the Portuguese with a shop in Australia. And these yeah. go on and on all over the world. Yeah. But the main issue here, is not uh, we don't have anything against migrants we are a welcoming country we we'll, we are a welcoming population but listen the the issue here concerning this uh, migration today uh, i give you a small example i was born in angola angola was a portuguese overseas province mm. and due to the war that is uh, well finished. They they say finished in for Portugal is fifty years now. It, it lasted in Angola for more forty years. Okay, uh, so due to that, uh, my family and I and hundreds of thousands of other Portuguese that were living in Angola had to leave. And when they returned to Portugal, this was a very big social problem because of the lack of houses the lack of work and the population increased a lot due to this situation and we are not talking about foreign people we are talking about portuguese people coming back to their main country so what do we have to learn with this that we cannot close down the borders because we do need migration mm. and when we say we do need migration we talk about every from a to z kind of migration the elder that want to have a retired life in a safe place with a good weather good food nice people to talk about they want to come they are welcome but we also welcome the families that are living in their own countries and they don't have any opportunities of having a house, a work, study, uh, health, uh, security. They don't have anything like that. They are also welcome in Portugal. Mm. The issue here is that when you only bring people that are looking for safety, are looking for jobs, are looking for better way of life, but when they arrive here, they don't find that. Yeah. That is the big problem. And that happens why? Because we believe that the actual politics of migration in Portugal is wide open doors. And yes. wide open doors is not good politics in our point of view. Yeah. I would say like this, the first example we usually give is, for example, you have your own home when you open the door of your house for somebody to come into your house is somebody that you know you don't open the door and let anybody else uh, anybody just get into your house without you knowing what he's going to do yeah this is the example we just believe that we should have more control on our borders 
and we should have some pre-selection of the people that decide and choose to come and live in Portugal looking for better quality of life. We welcome all of them, but we do need to have a selection. As I said before, the Portuguese are the last people on earth that may say anything about migration because we are all over the place. <laughs> well, let, let they start uh, the first phase in moon base alpha and then you'll find the Portuguese thing. <laughs> I think there's already a point. There's already a yeah. bunch of people like up there. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm very embarrassed about the mistake I made uh, between the distinction. And I think given that I've made that mistake, others might make it too. But this, this distinction between AD and ADN, I'm very excited about what I think I know about ADN. Um, you also seem to be like a new force um, or a refreshed force in politics and very much the zeitgeist of a particular kind at the moment. Um, and I don't know if this is just your colleagues in Madeira who are feeling this, but I think, is it true to say that the ADN are standing up a little bit towards globalism as well and some of those overwhelming agendas that are not so good for um, national sovereignty and, 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 you know, smaller government within our own uh, nations rather than to superpowers? Could you, could you say a bit more about that, uh, Joao, as well? Of course. <laughs> Listen, the, the, that's the basics of yeah. our strengths and our fight. Yeah. We don't believe, uh, we don't accept this globalism. Yeah, there's, uh, we fight against the, the climate fraud, the climate agenda. We say it, it's a fraud because we, since the earth exists, well, the planet, there has been always climate change, but never mankind decided that was man responsible for it and man should pay for it. And this is what this globalism wants to show and impose to the world. Yes. And we fight against that. We are the only political party in Portugal since the beginning of the presentation of this agenda 2030 that we fight against it in all its terms. Even the pandemics, when they say, oh, we need to protect you, listen, we are always the whistle blowing, saying, listen, this is nothing to do with your self-protection or self-preservation. This is manipulation. This is control planning so that they have you controlled. We are the only political party that fight against that. We have people in our we have people in our political party that have been uh, sent away from their jobs, put it aside because they believe in this. Yeah. So we are the only political force in Portugal that actually fights against this every day. And that well, it's not a surprise that we have all these uh, malfunctioned, I would say, misunderstandings mixing ADN with AD uh, because people want to say, uh, I would say, social media. They yeah. want to say that ADN really it's nothing. So we don't need to bother with that. Yeah. But the, the issue here is that ADN is already it became the stone in your shoe whenever they whenever they step forward they feel the stone <laughs> and that is bothering them <laughs> yeah and that is bothering them well this is an example this is an example yeah we showed your poster before <laughs> yeah yeah listen this is an this is a, an example of this this is uh, because the agenda 2030 is talking about carbon yeah. Carbon, it's, it's a major gas that it's necessary for life. Yes. You, you cannot have life without carbon. So why are now these people that they think they r rule the world, with what authority they decide that carbon is bad for you? Mm. Well, you know what? Now, um, this is just one of the examples, but we can go to any step of the agenda 2030 and yes. we say 
they they present it in, as a very nice way of showing how to protect you yeah that reminds me a movie i i saw uh, i would say a thousand years ago because it was in the last millennium <laughs> Uh, that uh, some aliens came to planet with a book saying to serve man. Yes. And they did start serving man with uh, production in the desert, food for everybody, free water to everybody, everybody, the world was happy. And when they started inviting them to go to their country, at the end of the movie, somebody yelled, don't go to the ship because we trans we finally translated the book to serve man that's a recipe book yes yep wow okay. Okay. well where do i so sign this up? is <laughs> this is how we want to show this is how we want to show the world yeah especially the portuguese first and of course the world that this agenda 2030 is like this this is to serve mankind but it's almost like a, a recipe book they want yeah. to cook you <laughs> i understand i understand Joel, and um this is turning into the most exciting conversation for me personally and i want to know where i sign up for adn but this is not about me this is about trying to find out about the the richer picture of politics here in portugal but i want to i do want to obviously give, given that you're from the adn we'd love to find out more about your manifesto and policies and and what your intentions are um paulo just to be clear from your point of view as a mayor of as a future mayor of albufeira what part what party will you be aligning with for that purpose oh, i think uh, alternativa democratica nacional is right. uh, yeah. and me uh, together uh, we will do a exceptional job for all uh, residents in albufeira for me right. and for alternativa democratica nacional uh, is clear that uh, we have not uh, resident for a uh, class a and resident class b uh, because we take care about all of resident yeah. uh, we we want uh, legality and uh, and i think alternativa democratica nacional is the is the right party yeah. uh, to to the, the home of the all, all uh, people uh, because uh, because in, in albufeira we have uh, a, around 50% uh, of uh, foreigners uh, resident of population 50% 50 per, uh, 50 is uh, is uh, of foreigners so uh, we have a multicultural uh, uh, city here and uh, but alternativa democratica nacional uh, is, a, is a right party for us because uh, they want legality lower taxes uh, um, um, freedom economic freedom Yes. Uh, and we need we need the uh, legality uh, situation more uh, more uh, more uh, um, uh, wealth uh, better wealth in Albufeira. We have no no uh, public hospital here. An example. Uh, we need the the um, put safe the city because uh, because the the woman, especially particularly the woman, have scared to walk uh, in the night, for example. So we we need uh, more uh, um, police municipal the uh, police municipal police we need more of them we we need uh, uh, the video cameras to to in the in the old town an example uh, we need uh, we need to fix uh, many many things and uh, and uh, and we need more and better integration you know I, I always fight for more and better integration with all foreign communities. Uh, and, and so we, I am, I think, I am the right person to to to, to integrate to integrate all the all the communities here uh, in uh, with uh, law with respect in for, for Portuguese law. Yes. For for me is uh, is uh, is the focus Portuguese law Portuguese constitution is the is the is the focus uh, and uh, love for Portugal because he uh, there here is a paradise so i think uh, all all people uh, who who want to live in portugal uh, know there is a paradise but but paradise uh, for everybody no, right now is not paradise for everybody you see you see many many situations that uh, many people have explored with a lower salary mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the, the um, we need uh, we need an example housing social housing uh, political uh, about social housing because we have uh, many many uh, people 
to live uh, ten in a, in a, in apartment, an example, because yeah. uh, we have many many problems here about uh, the about the, the houses for for the people. So we need uh, to fix that to fix it, and uh, we will um, fix it uh, the next year with the Alternativa Democratica Nacional. Fantastic. Now I want to find out more about your policies. I want to find out where you stand uh, in the country and on a local level in councils around the country to see what's happening with ADN. Um, and as I say, this is quite the surprise for me this morning. I'm very excited to find out more. Um, the, Erica has a question who, who wants to welcome you as the mayor of Albufeira, I think. Immigrants' living conditions matter. Everyone loves cheap berries, but whose hands pick those berries? I think that comes back to the law, doesn't it? Some of these terrible situations in which immigrants are living are against the law in Portugal. Is that right, uh, uh, Paolo? Hello, yeah, uh, uh, in uh, uh, immigrant uh, living condition matter uh, is uh, uh, Erica or uh, all people here in Albufero, in Algarve, know the, uh, uh, who I, I am, who I, I fight for, for them. Uh, because uh, because uh, for me uh, um, the the for me are not uh, immigrants or, or for me is not about care about uh, passport for me yeah. is the, about people because at the yeah. end Alternativa Democratica Nacional is a humanist party yes so yes. what is important is legality legality yeah. and yeah. to came uh, because the problem is here uh, right now in the the last two three years. Uh, the wide open uh, policies about uh, immigration, uh, you see a tragedy situation because mm -hmm. uh, you see uh, you see uh, the people in, in uh, under the under the wall under the, the, the bridge uh, mm -hmm. to leave. An example is not possible. So is is important is okay came to Portugal, but you need a, a work, you need you need a house because if you don't uh, do that. Uh, you see, like uh, look, like Lisboa in the, in, in many situations, and uh, other 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 problem. You uh, I, I, my, I can imagine my children go to the school, don't speak Portuguese is an example, not mm -hmm. not the truth, but an example, and go to the uh, with the other uh, eighty per, uh, percent of, of, of children who don't speak Portuguese. Who uh, is impossible to 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 teaching and impossible to learning in this yes. situation. So we need a, a better organization in the school, in, in the in all in all the uh, the city. You need you, you are here in Albufeira, uh, more than 15,000 person who don't speak Portuguese is a problem. So I, I I want a program a program strong program to learn Portuguese to the people. An example because uh, because the integration come and uh, start. With the language, an example. Well said. Well said. That's why I'm working on these T-shirts today. Podemos falar português devagar, por favor. So we we're with you. We're with you on that. The importance of learning Portuguese, and we're going to be doing a lot. Let me turn to Senor Joao here. Um, I want to find out more about ADN, please, Joao. Um, what is your current representation after the last election? And do you have lots of councilmen and women around the country as well? Uh, we are working on that. Uh, yes. I am the vice coordinator of the commission of ADN in the Faro district, well, right. Algarve region. Okay, yes. so yes. My, I'm here together with Paul, but I'm the, uh, also the co responsible of the Portimão city. Okay. okay, so I'll be also responsible for the municipality here in Portimão. Uh, yes. But, and of course, because we are talking about the Algarve. Mm -hmm. The Algarve has some problems that are very particular to the Algarve. Yeah. But before I get to these problems, I would like to reinforce the idea that Paul already gave it here, mm -hmm. that the first thing that we, ADN, defend as being a humanistic uh, political party is that the fundamental law in Portugal, or the constitutional law, does be respected. Mm -hmm. And it is not being respected. The freedom of speech, the freedom of belief, and we have seen uh, lots of uh, people being persecuted by their own beliefs. So this is something that we do stand. Fundamental law, constitutional law is to be respected. We want the people to be free to do 
decide, think, speak what they want without being persecuted. This is what the constitutional law says, and this is what we defend. We want the people to know that their rights are defended. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And of course, all the guarantees that they have as citizens being national, born in Portugal, or national, not being born in Portugal, or being even foreign residents in Portugal. The constitutional mm -hmm. law is for everybody. Yeah. But yeah. unfortunately, yeah. we don't have being there. We also believe in private uh, economy. So some parties defend that this should be all public, belong to the state. No, we believe in private property. We are with the private property. So, so if you fight and you work all your life to have your own property, why you don't? Why you shouldn't have it? Yes. Uh, so this is we defend the private property also. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this there are major problems in Portugal that also come to the Algarve: housing, the lack of work, and the Algarve has a bigger problem that goes together with all this that is general in Portugal is low season. Mm -hmm. When we talk about Porto and Lisbon, for example, they have probably a low season month that is probably Ju July or August when everybody goes on holidays because the school are holidays. Yeah. yeah. The Algarve has a six month low season period. Yes. So we have a big problem in the Algarve. So how can we fix workers in the Algarve if we can only have jobs for them for six months? Right. People, they need to leave. People, they need to leave 12 months a year. They don't need to leave just six. Yes, yeah? absolutely. absolutely. So we have a big problem here also in the Algarve, especially because of our housing. And we see the problem. Lots of people come to live here. Some Lots of the, the housing in the Algarve, they are particular placed for rental, for tourism. Yes. That is not bad. But how can we explain, uh, I would say, all Portugal, that 80% of the production in Portugal comes through tourism? And yeah. 80 or 90% of this tourism is in the Algarve. How can we accept? that the average low the lowest average wage in portugal is in the algarve mm -hmm. this is something that we don't accept how Fair come enough. yeah the algarve yeah. the algarve is the the, the, the place that uh, gives most to the, the the production of portugal why the the the, the worst wages or the lowest yeah. wages in all the country yes well, this is the things that we fight. Uh, of course, we believe in free market. We believe that the government shouldn't be uh, in this free market right. because of the because of the huge difference of opportunities. Of course. Yes. Yep. Fascinating. This is, uh, We'll hear more. We'll hear more from you. Uh, this, uh, yes, this has been quite the pivot for me this morning, um, and we've got some great comments coming in. Uh, how lovely to hear someone speak about sensitive humanitarian perspectives of immigration. This Facebook user says, "I think Ima should do a great work checking all the touristic visas, meaning check people really went back after ninety days and are therefore not illegal." Here, back to the law there. Um, Bagrand, he does know a few people who made the mistake and voted for the wrong party. We'll see what happens with that over time. Um, interested, interesting to listen to a different narrative. I also believe we are manipulated as well. And uh, my wife there, I feel good astrology. She likes your poster as well, the gentleman. Um, we also, uh, uh, people recognize the Twilight Zone episode that you mentioned there. It's called To Serve Man, one of my favorites. Yes. Yep, exactly. I, don't, I don't know if, um, yeah, beware of anyone saying to serve man. Um, Erica saying, I don't know if this is a joke. It's nice to see two different political advocates on the same show. Well, they're from the same political perspective. I don't know if that's a, an attack on my editorial management, but political parties of any kind are welcome to come and stake their case on the show. I might not be doing the best job of that, starting with Shega and now ADN, and we've not had a mainstream speaker. We have Doc with Bloca Esquerda. 
but they are welcome to come. They're absolutely welcome to come. The book the aliens brought with them was a cookbook, absolutely, as uh, Joao said there. Um, and you also remind Pete um, in Fundau of, uh, from a Twilight Zone episode, The Good Life, as Anthony Fremont uh, there as well, with your, um, your Hollywood good looks there, obviously, Joao. Um, thank you, Paolo. Fear to be alone outside at night in Albufeira is something we don't hear in the tourist-centred news. So um, I think she's uh, thanking you for addressing that. And just a little bit of background then um, on, on the history of the ADN I found from the website. Uh, born on September the 28th, 2021. That's the ruling there in the Constitution regarding the name change as well there. ADN, National Democratic Alternative. And um, this is interesting. Your, your kind of soundbite, if you like, your... your um, Brief manifesto here, aiming to defend and deepen the corresponding values based on human dignity, freedom, equality, justice and solidarity as a result of the party's need to assert itself as a true alternative without any ideological prejudice, embracing the political and or ideological options. Now, I like that distinction there. So many parties, so many people, you could say, are lost in ideology. Would you say you're bringing politics back down to earth, more pragmatic, more human? And humanistic is, is is am I getting that right? Am I hearing that correctly, Joel? That is our goal. That's right. why we say we are not political. We are not professionals as politicians. Okay, we want to bring political to the basics to serve yes. the people, to be yes. with the people, to understand the people, and yes. to help and yes. to make the society better for everybody that decided decides to live here. I would like to ask for an opportunity to, to leave this information here because maybe this is not known by lots uh, uh, of uh, foreign people that decided to live in Portugal. Right. The, the residents in Portugal, they are allowed to vote in municipality elections. Okay? The Portuguese law allows foreign people that choose to even if it is temporary residence he is allowed to vote in the municipality elections so i give this information to everybody here Thank that you. if you intend also to be a part an active part in society where you are you just have to go to the junta de freguesia and put your name into the charts that allows you to vote for municipality we hear, we hear, hear Paul saying he's going to be the next mayor in uh, Albufeira. I have no doubt about that because all the Algarve is going to work for that. Of course, as well as we are going to work for the other candidates for any, the, all the other, uh, well, 15 remaining municipalities in the Algarve. Yeah. But we count with the foreign people that live here, the residents, the expats, yeah, because we need to understand your difficulties, your needs, and we want to make a society with you. Well, I love the sound of that. I love the sound of that. And, you know, I guess people are very cynical, aren't they, when it comes to with all that's happened in these last few decades and, and you know, the this... Um, the uni party, we're calling it in the UK, you know, how, how the, the centre parties have just become one ideological ineffective force that doesn't seem to serve people very uh, well mm. and here you are proposing something i think a little bit different returning to humanistic values and a human angle rather than domination by ideology uh paula would you like to say some more i um, mean maybe we'll keep you for another five minutes if we may i know you you guys are busy you're, you're working men as well as doing this so paula tell us more about how you approach or how you're going to approach becoming mayor of albufeira Yes, no, we, 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 we fight the, together all the, the people here, all the communities. Uh, solidarity uh, is, uh, is uh, our goal too. Uh, we have uh, many, many problems here in Albufeira. Albufeira is a, is a beautiful, beautiful uh, city, uh, but uh, mo uh, many people uh, live uh, very good, in very good condition, but is, uh, came from other countries like uh, a retired. If you need to, to work here, it uh, is a very problem. Uh, for, it's a hell for many, many people to, for two things. Uh, and, and we need to fix that. 
the only only uh, the people only work in, in, in tourists the major the, the most uh, uh, people work in tourists so they work only just uh, six months per year mm -hmm. so we need we need to to to, um, to diversify uh, to make a, another politics for uh, attracting attracting the investor an example technology we need uh, we need I, I my, my dream is uh, is Algarve is uh, um, in the in the winter in the is a, a little Silicon Valley. We need wow. we need no yeah. we need to attract, we need to attract we need to attract a uh, uh, polo technological. Uh, we need uh, it's like Santa Maria da Feira, an example in the north of Portugal. Make sure. the, the decision to to invest in uh, in uh, to attract a, a investor from internet in technology. We have many digital nomads here. We need to work for other 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 uh, other companies uh, in the uh, other country. Why this this company don't came here? Because we, we because here we have uh, high taxes. We need to, to to we need the low taxes to attract uh, other other uh, investor. Not only just not only tourists. Because Portugal and Algarve is a paradise for families to live, but not to work. So we need we need to attract to attract uh, uh, not only the family of the of the boss of the company, but the company too. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, well, great ideas. I mean, Rui Correa has, has joined us. OMG! Oh my God! Politics and tourism. No, and tourism, one of the industries I dislike the most for multiple reasons. The way it exists in Portugal. I think you're on the same page here. Although Rui is saying, "I'm here for the astrology today." We'll see. Um, I'm liking what I hear about ADN very much indeed. Um, oh, other comments me, coming in. Me. Go ahead, Joel. Oh. I would just like to give you here uh, a note also that is basics in our politics here, measures. In our measures here for the Algarve, we've been talking about housing conditions of people to live and be here. Uh, Paul just talked about uh, the idea of a little Silicon Valley in the Algarve. Yeah. Uh, but we do have something very straight here to the Algarve. And we call it the continuous uh, working contract. Right. Uh, because we have a big problem with the season that lots of people come to work in the Algarve during the high season and then they have they go home they go to Dole yeah but we yeah. have this program that we want to implement here in the Algarve that is called the continuous working contract it yeah. means that the worker is working and being paid by the company that contracted him for the high season when it comes to the low season, the, he will still keep the same wage, but who's going to pay him is going to be balanced between the company and the state. So it wow. means he's not going to be six months just on the dole. Mm -hmm. He's going to get some of his payment from the dole and some of the payment from the company that is working and that will allow him to have a 12 month contract yes what well, yes. how does this work it gives lower costs of maintaining the job for the company in low season that they all don't have clients yeah but they keep the doors open working so we finished we finished this idea of having the algarve in winter time as zombie land right absolutely okay? Yeah. And of course, we also <clears throat> decrease the costs of doll of people that stay here for six months without any work, just getting the doll. Yes, incredible. And of that course, this will help the families because then they get a house for the whole year. Then they can apply for a credit to buy their own house because they work for 12 months a year, not yeah. just six. Yeah. Because if you work six years and then you interrupt for six and then six months and then you interrupt for the next six months and so on, when you go to the bank and apply for a mortgage to buy your own place, yes, they say, sorry, you don't have any security for us to lend you money. Right. And you can't have yeah. a stable society, can you? If, if, if you create yes, that. Of course. Without, yes, without, of course. Without, without bringing so that. This is, a very, yeah. this is a strong objective that we have here and we're yeah. going to fight for it in yep. every aspect of it yes. we want to have people working in the algarve for 12 months a year yes 
Incredible. That is, uh, that is one of our major goals. Yep. Uh, farm workers should be provided with the same consideration as tourist workers. So, Erica lobbying for the farm workers as well, who we need. Uh, bon dia to you, Sarah Yerman. And a big difference between these guys and the USA. In the US, they were constantly talking over each other and neither would be able to be heard. Keep it up, guys. Uh, these guys are able to make their points without disparaging each other. Well, they are on the same side, to be fair. Um, but uh, at the same time, they are not talking over each other. Um, in this morning um, thank you so much for being here really appreciate it um, another point from Erica uh, employers should be required to provide Portuguese language education before hiring or at least once they've started to make sure this the language is being learned right illiteracy is a perpetuator of human trafficking I'd never seen that before but I could see how that would work and um, I'm, I'm quite taken by the ideas of ADN here this morning, coming from this humanistic and less ideological point of view. I would like to see more independent candidates in politics because they can be more representative and accountable to the people that elected them. I think that's right. And I don't know if Pete is having a little jab here or if he means it. Going from 0.2 to 1.6% of the vote must be quite an achievement for ADN. That is good growth, isn't it? But still... I, don't, I don't care about the, the, the result, uh, the last result. Uh, uh, for me, the important is the focus, the yeah. program, the, the, the because all, all people right now, the opportunist people want to go to join Shega, uh, PS, because it's the big, uh, the big uh, party. No, yeah. for me, the important is to work, to focus the program, not, uh, not the, the last result. The, the, the important, the future and the program. I want to I want to to present in the in the, in the next election here and and to help the in the in June in the European elections in June we will be yes. a election for parliament Europe parliament yeah I want to to help Alternativa Democratica Nacional because I I I, I believe in in the, in the program in the party in the people of Alternativa Democratica Nacional so uh, the result is uh, is uh, okay, it's important, but but uh, not the only politics. Yeah. Uh, we we need to we need in, in in Portugal to fight. We need to fight for uh, who in, in in the in the party in the program who who, who the people believe. Not yeah. uh, about the mathematics. Uh, about I oh, know I joined Shega because it's stronger party or no no. It's important is what you think, what you heard, your, in your heart is important. No, well, it's important. The focus is important about this. About her, not about mathematics. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that. Now, let's go to the last words then. We are running out of time and you've been very generous, both of you, with your time this morning. Um, if I may make a little bit of an assessment, as I understand it, um, I, I've had a real crash course in ADN this morning, but it seems to me that, um, you know, Shega are, are very much using uh, immigration, foreigners as political capital. Um, and, and the same with the centre parties, I think. It's like, you know, well, we won't say much, but we'll let Shager say these things because that looks good for us. It would appear ADN could be a good home for foreigners and immigrants. Representation, um, humanistic values. This could be actually a welcoming party rather than just a party that manipulates foreigners for their own political gain. Um, it, could, you con could you combine that with your last words this morning, uh, Joao, please? Yes, of course. Uh, before I met Paulo, that is uh, has a very dynamic uh, work in the, the foreign community. Uh, yeah. main, of course, all over the Algarve, but mainly in Albufeira. I've been trying to reach the expat uh, administrators. Mm -hmm. Because since I got into this political party, I am trying to look for, and if somebody is listening here, they'll probably find my name, João Teixeira Simplicio, in the social media here in the Algarve, trying to reach the expats. Because, yes. uh, as, as I said before, uh, be, even being Portuguese, uh, my family and I, we, were, we felt like foreigners, <laughs> right. even though we were Portuguese. Yeah. Uh, so, being a humanitarian political party, we believe that men should be the priority in everything that we do. So for us, is first man, then family, first man, then family, traditional family, 
and then working condition and housing. And this is the basics that any family needs to be, well, to thrive. And if the family is okay, you will integrate a group of families that that makes society. And that is the society that we want to help to build. Not, we are not into politics because it's a good job. <laughs> yeah? That yeah. is the main reason. That is the main fight of ADA. We are yeah. not in politics because being a politician is a good job. No, no, no. We are not looking for the jobs for the boys. Yeah? yeah. We, yeah. Are, we are professionals in our own expertise that yeah. want to work for society. Yeah. And we want said, to bring these basics, these politics, basics, politics for nowadays. Again, let's work for the public, not make the public work for us. Wonderful. Absolutely love that in the face of the globalist agendas that uh, some suspect are, are occurring at the moment. People first, family first, small businesses and local community. I'm, I'm loving the sound of this, Joao. Thank you so much, Paolo, for bringing Joao to us this morning. Paolo, what's your last word? Thanks. Thank you for being here again. Thanks for all you're doing down there in the south, you know, on behalf of the foreigners and, for, and on behalf of Portugal, because that's important. You have a great love of Portugal. You're not just about, you know, representing the foreigners, are you? You're bringing together this hybrid of loving this country and wanting to represent exactly. in that mix. So, Paolo, last word to you. Okay, uh, I, I, I want to, to thank you and uh, I guarantee for all uh, expat communities, I will fight for them uh, always, you know, uh, before this and, and uh, after. Uh, so trust us uh, and we, we, we will fight for, for you, for, and, uh, for all the communities and for better, uh, more and better integration here in Algarve and in all Portugal. Wonderful. So, muito prazer, uh, João. Muito obrigado. Bom fim de semana. Tchau, tchau. Até a próxima. Até a próxima. Até a próxima. Até a próxima. Obrigado, obrigado. Tchau, tchau. Wonderful. Oh. There they go. There they go. Wow. What a morning. I think Mrs. Emma summed it up beautifully here. This is an amazing show from playing with balls. That was a netball to having balls, political balls here. Um, very strong themes today. Much love, everyone. Uh, awesome show today, says Erica Kay. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, guests. It is a global problem. Yeah, right. I mean, what we're talking about here, I think, are global problems uh, and, the, and the specter of globalist agendas. But here we are, as Raul was saying, people first. Family first, local community is, is what I was hearing about ADN. And again, I apologize for my misunderstanding. And I, I fell for that um, um, acronym, acronym based problem there of confusing um, AD with ADN. So um, I, I think we put that right today. Um, and we found out what ADN were all about. Um, Pete saying we have a few wonderful immigrants who work for the local council and mayor who have integrated fantastically well. We depend very much on the gypsy community to collect our cherries as well, the cherry harvest in Fundal, but also have a great integration and a huge centre that helps people from Portugal's former colonies settle and find work here. Happy Easter to all who celebrate, says Pinky as well, who I think it's fair to say has enjoyed the show today. Um, and you're very welcome, uh, Joao, who is sending me a message there. Great to, to catch up um, with uh, Senor Simplicio there. Um, we'll have a quick, a quick palate cleanse, a political palate cleanse. Let's go to Nazare for a moment, and then we'll have a few more minutes together before we go off into the Easter week. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Um, happy plain old Sunday to those who don't. Okay, so those two messages go together. Thank you, Michael, for that uh, footage of Nazare there, which definitely was a refresher, wasn't it? Um, happy Easter to those who celebrate. Happy plain old Sunday to those who don't. Now we need to get some people who can speak for AD. Absolutely. I mean, you know, like I said, um, I maybe haven't gone about this in the right way. I don't know. Is it that good to have like 
the people from the different parties having a ding dong on the screen. I don't know. I don't think that's the best way. It's like a, it doesn't achieve very much, um, especially if they do talk e over each other, as you were saying, Joao. Although I think that's probably less likely in a Portuguese scenario. I think people are a little bit more respectful towards each other most of the time. Um, I, I really don't mind having um, the having a sort of you know peace and quiet and a, and a space in which people can present their own political um, party view, like we've done with Shega. Uh, like Doc does for a blocker Esquerda, and like we've seen today from ADN. But I do like, I really like their poster. I mean, it appeals to me, and it won't appeal to everybody, of course. I'm just declaring my partisan interest in it because it appeals to my sense of mischief and independence as well. So thank you very much, ADN. I think you might well be. Uh, you know, I thought I'm done with politics, quite frankly, but they might have dragged me back in. Who knows? Uh, Bonfi Samana from Bagandi. We'll have a look at your events in the Bagada district in just a moment. And sounds like I missed an Englishman and an Irishman and tutus. No, it's the Englishman and a half Irish, half Welshman. But don't worry, you get to see. Um, I, I can still show you a picture, Jackie, and I'm going to play your video. Um, your comment is um, Mrs. M seemed to say, Oh, a little move there is good toes, naughty toes. Is that right? Um, we were encouraged to do that, and you can see the look on my face. I'm a little bit scared and reluctant at that point, but we had a fabulous time after all. So, um, yeah, w there will be further footage shared, Jackie, uh, talking about uh, sharing footage. You did this for us, and you sent it in on 913-590-303. Thank you so much, Jackie, for your contribution to the Bon Dia Portugal videos. Uh, here you are. Bom dia, Portugal! I think, I think you, you, you're you Welsh, aren't you? You're sounding a little bit like Bonnie Taylor there. Bom dia, Portugal! I can hear a little bit of a Welsh uh, top note on there, Jackie. Thank you so much. Uh, send yours if you'd like to share one with us on 913-590-303. Carl, you guys rock it. Oh, thank you very much. I love hearing from different political parties. Well done, Carl. Well, we have started with the outliers, haven't we? And, and the sensationalists, if you like, um, with who we've um, had on the show. Sensible Shoes. Joao Denort, you look like you've had a fantastic time. Welcome home. Um, I think that's happening imminently, isn't it? Sensible shoes and ankle socks. Very British blokes. Oy! Sorry, guys, I can't do this today. I woke up in a good mood and this is depressing me. <laughs> I managed my head within a top and support range. I was hoping to hear casino predictions on the astrology. What's upset you? Was it the, uh, was it the politics or was it um, the picture of me in a tutu? I wonder. Sorry if that's what did it, Rui. Maybe that's cheered you up. Come on, it's the colours of the Portuguese flag right there. Um, let's go to the uh, highlights this weekend, certainly in the Bairada district. Gary saying, time to get that nice cocktail dress from out the back of the wardrobe and dust it down. Who says it's in the back of the wardrobe? And I think I'm going to pick it up from the dry cleaners later on. Um, enjoy Portugal and make the world your chessboard and casino in the game of life. That's a good note to end on this morning. Over in Coimbra, evening of Fado and bar food at Azenia. Oh, that's um, it's Coimbra and Fado, not in Coimbra. An evening of Coimbra style Fado. Also notice, says Andy, the larger guitar at the Coimbra. Different than the Lisbon style of the 12 string Fado guitar. We might go out with Casa Portuguesa this morning. I think we will. Um, staying in the Bairada, then, Trilho uh, dos Munhos, a more um, windmill fun super weekend when the water mills are open, not the windmills, then the water mills, and they're open to the public. And that includes a fantastic walk there in the Bairada. Aveiro, of course, it's the massive Easter fair and expo that happens every year there in Aveiro. Lots to see and do at Aveiro's main fair, big fairground, big indoor expo center, a market, free events like Zumba, dancing, food, fun and frolics and big name bands. Yeah, a lot of big name bands turn up there uh, from the Portuguese circuit. A walk for life in Aveiro. Sign up and join in to support ADAV Aveiro. That's five euros and of course includes a T-shirt water and a snack for that couple more then dune part deutsch are there um, a great value evening in the beautiful cartel des arts they have loads of great shows concerts and entertainment they're showing dune june part two there um Feres divertidas for easter there pasqua easter in iliavo check out the following pictures in and the link for the easter activities in iliavo and finally then uh, the Caminhada, the Primavera, a spring walk. Take part in this eight kil kilometer, I was going to say eight kilos, 
can't guarantee you'll lose that much. But if you do lots of them, you might take part in the eight kilometer guided communal walk and lunch. There you go. All of that in Agada for eight euros. And I dare say you'll get um, a lot included for your eight euros as well as uh, as we've come to uh, enjoy uh, here in Portugal. Thank you very much, by Andy, for those. Thank you, everyone who took part in the show this morning. Amazing. As Mrs. M said, started with balls. Um, playing with balls and ended with political balls. Last few of your comments then. Uh, Roy meant uh, forecast likelihoods in the casino of life. There, You'll have to talk separately to Mrs M about that, who doesn't do, incidentally, casino forecast, but Aries are certainly going through some transformations right now. Watch out for the 8th of April. Thank you very much for that. Visit. What's this? Visit, not vote. Bloody. Pro what's she, what's uh, Jackie talking about there? Defo Welsh, boy. -o. We'll see how Welsh, uh, see how Welsh when you visit, because I feed, feed, feed my friends. Lots of chockies and cakes, though, always. Yes. Can't wait to meet you, Jackie. Um, when you, yes, when you visit, not vote there. Thank you very much. Or your mustard yellow jacket with the sleeves rolled up and no socks. That's a good look. Strong look from Gary Austin that reemerged on social media. Uh, this morning, we enjoyed our trip through Spain, France and Italy, but landing in Porto this evening is going to bring a big smile to our faces back home in Portugal. Isn't it lovely to hear that? Um, and you don't need if you're in Portugal, you don't need a prediction to tell you that you'll have a great weekend. Isn't that wonderful? Thanks, Pete. Uh, I've been in transformation since 1977 and probably before, but I don't remember anything before that. Oh, um, and um, I so hate that Pete no socks that bloke on Joker does my head in. I'm not sure what that means, Gary, but um, I think he might be eschewing your fashion advice this morning. Follow him on Instagram for more tips. Nice to have a, a variety of political representatives air their views, but seeing you had the guys who came in third, maybe we should hear the ones who came in second and first. Please, do you know how it works here? Um, people say, I'd like to come on and talk. Or they say, I know a guy who'd like to come on and talk. You you fix me up with those people. You set them up. You put the ball on the tee and I'll knock it down the fairway. I thought you looked a bit Miami Vice or Miami Doodly Vice uh, there. And Rui, off to the gym. Catch up later. Enjoy the day, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for this lovely good feeling on Feel Good Friday here in the chat. Wishing you all a blessed Good Friday and Easter. I pray that our faith stays stronger than the charades of our politicians. Here, here! Hoo -ha! To that, Squire of the Shires, good to see you here this morning. And a Pinky misread um, your cheese boards and as uh, cheese boards and casinos. Well, that sounds like a good weekend as well, doesn't it? A mixed tabwa of, uh, of uh, fiambre and uh, queijo there. And uh, wishing you all a blessed Good Friday and Easter. Thank you very much for that one, Squire. And hope you still got to you st hope you still got your Choose Life T-shirt, Pete, from the 1980s. It'd be worth a fortune now. And Pasht Hapush, Hapush Atorsh from uh, the Welsh greeting for a happy Easter from Peda as well. So let's go out then. Um, all this talk about you know how we love Portugal. Who? What better to sum that up than Casa Portuguesa, the Fado tune? We heard about Coimbra and Fado. Let's go to Lisbon which I think is this is uh, represents the Lisboeta version of Fado and Casa Portuguesa. Have a great Easter weekend, and we'll see you again on Monday with James. Have a good one. Ciao. Bon fim de semana. Até a próxima. <laughs> Eu não posso ter um lugar